there's literally nothing worse than being like halfway through your ride on an electric skateboard or electric bike and having the battery run out on your remote or having the battery run out on your smartphone that controls the app that controls your electric bike or that controls your navigation and you get lost like halfway through your ride because look i'm not magellan i don't always know where i am okay sometimes i need surrey to help me get back home and so there is one electric bike slash electric skateboard accessory i pretty much never leave home without and that is a power bank and today i'm showing you guys the halo power bank from a company called charge labs What is up awesome peeps? Brett McCluskey here with Electrified Reviews. I'm very happy to see you all here again today. Well, not technically see you, but you know what I'm saying. Very glad that you're tuning in. Hopefully you are unplugging from the daily grind, just taking a break from everything, geeking out on electric bikes, electric skateboards, tech, all that kind of fun stuff. And again, today we are going over the Halo Power Bank from a company called Charge Labs. Now what's cool about this power bank is it has uh, the ability to charge four devices simultaneously. So it has wireless charging. So if you guys have a smartphone that has wireless charging, you just pop that thing onto the back of this charger, it will charge that up. And there's three full-size USB type A ports as well. Now the cool thing about this charger is it has a solar panel on the other side of it. So on one side it's got the, uh, the wireless charging for like phones, whatever. On the other side it has a solar charger. So whenever this thing is in the sun or even artificial light, it starts to collect energy and will actually charge the power bank back up, which is just dope because this thing has a really high capacity as it is 20,000 milliamps which is pretty high the issue that I have sometimes when I go out on electric skateboards or electric bikes is that my board will be charged up full capacity because you always charge your board the night before right but I sometimes forget to charge the actual remote and I've had the issue where I've been halfway on a ride my remote will die and I'm stranded I have to basically just pump back home because what am I gonna do right so after that I started looking into power banks and that's why I picked up this one and another reason why I have it like I mentioned earlier is because of electric bikes so again I've seen this trend with electric bikes where you know, there's a smartphone app that goes along with it, which is great, but a lot of them now, it seems like, are using a smartphone only app, right? So you have to use a smartphone in order to turn the bike on and off. And I have also run into the issue where I've been using GPS for like a long ride and my phone will die and I can't power my bike back on uh, or I can't power it off if I want to take a break. Oh, the last thing that this thing has is it has like a bunch of LEDs, like really bright LEDs on the, uh, on the wireless charging side, which is also good for me because I like to ride kind of later in the day when it's cooler, especially in the summer. Sometimes when it gets dark, I don't have a flashlight. I can just use this power bank. Boom, I have illumination. I can get back home safely and it's good to go. Now, I could keep talking about this thing all day. Obviously, however, I think it'll be better if I go out on my skateboard, go for a ride, go to a cool destination, and we will show you guys this thing in action. have my coffee by the way this is a Americano uh, with four shots if you guys are wondering that is the in my opinion the perfect way to have an Americano two shot uh, four shots in a small by the way quad shot small Americano try that you're welcome you'll love it okay now hold on so I brought with me my charger this is the charge labs charger that's the halo power bank right here from the company called charge labs kind of a confusing name for some reason I can't quite seem to get it right but uh, yeah I showed you guys a, a couple of quick clips of this thing earlier and I wanted to just show you how this thing works and again to reiterate the reason that I have this is because when I am riding like specifically an electric skateboard today I, I rode this thing here 
and uh, you know this is the remote that comes with the skateboard my skateboard is fully charged the remote is pretty much fully charged but let's say this thing dies okay well I have a solution basically every time I go out I carry with me a charger like this and I carry all of the charging cables for all the accessories that I have in case I do need to charge them now again this thing has three USB type A charging ports please focus can I do it hello hello there we go three type A charging ports right there so I'm gonna use one of them to charge the remote boom done now what's dope is I still have two other USB type A ports and I still have this wireless charging pad if I want to charge up my phone which I can't do because I have an iPhone SE because that's the best phone that Apple's ever made the last phone by Steve Jobs uh, well the iPhone 4 but uh, we won't get into that, but me personally, I think that's the best iPhone. What do you guys think the best iPhone is? If you want, leave that in the comments. We can have a, a big, long argument. It sounds uh, <laughs> really exciting. Okay, so I brought a couple other accessories here with me, okay? I told you that, you know, I typically, um, I use my GPS, right, when I'm, uh, when I'm going on my electric bikes, electric skateboards. I love to explore new areas, right, to explore new trails. And if my phone dies, I'm using GPS, then I'm kind of screwed. You know, not to mention the fact that if my phone dies, if I'm riding a bike that has a, uh, a smartphone app to control it, I'm also kind of, you know, screwed there as well because I can't turn my bike on and off. I can't adjust the settings. So, okay, so I didn't bring my uh, phone charger, but I do have my Apple Watch charger. So we'll demonstrate with that. So for the second USB type A port, I will throw in my Apple Watch. See, got the charger here. Boom. Okay, so that's two things, right? And then I also have a GoPro camera that I want to charge up. We'll use this one for the third example. Because you know what, these things actually die really quick, the GoPro Hero 6s. The battery life on these is not that good at all. So, got the USB, USB Type-C. Boom, got that charged. And let's say, let's just pretend like my, my iPhone SE could wirelessly charge. Boom, I could put this on top and then check out all this stuff, okay? I got this. I'm charging the controller here for my skateboard. I'm charging up my GoPro Hero 6, and I'm also charging up my Apple Watch simultaneously. So again, this is really why I like this charger so much. It's just the opportunity, the ability to charge so many things at one time. Another cool thing about this, and check this out, I'm gonna unplug this stuff real quick. So again, on this side, this is the, the solar panels right here. So if I, if I put this thing in the sun, even right now, you can probably see that that is the little green light there on the side. That means it's collecting uh, energy from the sun and feeding it back into the, into the battery, which is awesome. So this thing is 20,000 milliamps already, which is pretty big. And the fact that it can collect sunlight and charge this thing up just means it's gonna have more juice um, available pretty much whenever there's, whenever there's sun out, right? So another reason I like this is for this reason right here. Double tap the power button. Okay, or not. There we go, double tap the power button. Boom, dude freaking LED lights in this thing. It's so awesome. This is on the low setting, basically, so the camera can pick it up and see it. However, if once it's on, if I just press the power button once, it'll cycle. This is the kind of strobe, like I guess if you're using this for an emergency, whatever. Uh, slower strobe, press it again, and it's gonna go back to the brightest setting, and then it's gonna cycle back down. It has three, three brightness settings before it starts going into that like strobe mode, right? To toggle out of this, just double tap and it's gonna turn off. Um, honestly though, it's really bright on the, on, the, on the brightest LED setting here. And I like this because like I was mentioning, I do go out a lot you know, in the evening and you know, kind of as the sun starts to set and I have found myself out on more than one occasion where you know, it's sunset, you know, the night has fallen, whatever the technical term is for that. I'm in the dark basically and I have no illumination to get back home. Something like this, it's just like one thing, man. Like one thing I bring with me and it can do everything. It can charge up my stuff, it can help me get back home if I need uh, light. Um, it's just, it's it's just pretty great overall. So I guess we should talk about the price of this thing too, right? I kind of forgot about that. So this thing typically runs for $270, which is, you know, kind of average, I would say, for a battery of this capacity and this functionality. However, it's an Indiegogo campaign right now. And if you guys do want it right now, it's 70 bucks on their Indiegogo campaign, which is pretty, pretty darn good. That's a really good price for this battery uh, for the early adopter price. So yeah, check it out. Again, I'll leave a link. Uh, I'll leave a link to this. I'll leave a link to the unboxing video if you guys do want to see that because it does also come with a weird like case for whatever reason, kind of pointless, but it's kind of cool if you want to repurpose it. So yeah, again, hope you guys dug this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time.